Hey thrifty viewers and we are here today with another tutorial this time we're going to teach you guys not only how to flock a doll's hair but we're going to teach you how to DIY your own only hearts dolls little boy um, at the current moment and I, do, I think it's already been set that it, they are not actually ever going to make any of the little boys except for the one little brother that comes with the double packs but at this time you were able to find the Only Hearts Club dolls at a very, very reasonable price at your local Tuesday morning. I found a significant amount of them for $6.99. So I picked up two different versions of Olivia Hope. I have the riding doll version here, which I have in a different outfit. And I picked up her basic doll here today. Um, I picked this up because I had filmed another version of this and my video was corrupt. So. I picked up another one to do this again and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to completely undress the doll so I'm gonna take a second we have undressed the doll as you can see they have a cloth body so we are going to remove the head to get this done usually use some sort of plastic that's just to set the flocking hair on because we're gonna make our own hair flocking you can buy doll flocking hair online but this is just a thrifty way to do this we're going to use, we're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some sort of a brush. You can use an old makeup brush. I'm going to use this Mary Kay one that I absolutely hate. But it's stiff enough to brush off excess hair. You're going to need a pair of tweezers. And this is just to remove the initial hair inside the doll's head. You're going to need some form of Mod Podge. It doesn't matter if it's a glossy or satin because it's all going to get covered with the flocking. You're going to need some acetone. To remove any of the paint and you're going to need cotton swabs so I'm going to go ahead and remove the doll's head you can do this by heating it up with a blow dryer or if you're confident enough you can just pull it off I feel confident that I can just get it off very easily I do this quite often okay once you have removed the doll's head it will look like this here's the plug that is in the head we're just going to take the body and set it to the side with the clothes so they are safe from getting anything on them and we are going to start with our head. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off all of the longer hair. Once you have cut the doll's hair off, it's going to look similar to this. You should be able to look inside and you can see the different glue and such that's inside. You will use your tweezers to reach inside of there and pluck that out, but we will do that in just a second. What I'm going to show you first is how to actually make your doll flocking and you will actually use the hair you cut off unless you want a different color and then you may even take a small trim of hair from um, another doll without ruining that doll even. But let's say you gave your longer hair doll a haircut and you happen to have some excess blonde laying around like I do then you can use that hair but I want to use the original brownish blonde color so give me just a second to show you how this works. So we're going to take our hair, our doll hair, and we're going to take a pair of scissors. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut, we're going to try to keep this about the same length even, and then we're going to take our scissors, kind of push this together, and if you have some extra length off to another side, just cut it as even as you can, like so, as I've cut it evenly across. Now what you're going to do is hold it kind of taut, and at the very, very, very tips, as you can see what I'm doing, you're just cutting it very thinly. You're barely cutting any hair each time you come across. And you're going to continue to do this until you've reached the end of the hair, which is a little bit of a tedious project, but the end results are very nice. The thinner you cut it, the better it looks. How that looks here. And I'm going to pick up the camera, and I'm just going to show you size comparison with my finger how that looks. It's very, very, very thin and I put it on the plastic so we can keep up with it instead of having it anywhere else so we can see it. So we're just going to continue to do that and then I will come back and explain to you how to remove the actual hair from the doll head. We're back and we have actually made a significant a little pile of flocking here and the unused hair, which was much more than the used hair, we put it in a bag to save just in case we need it for another project or doll. I'm going to basically now show you how to remove the hair from the doll itself that's left. You want to remove every bit of hair. You don't want any left. 
or it could actually interfere with the end result. Now there's one of two ways to do this. There's like this where you reach in and you pull the little follicles out piece by piece. And another thing, a tip that I can give you is you can take your tweezers, pinch them together, put them inside and scrape the end area where the hair is. And some of the time, let's see if I can show you here. You can see where I'm actually scraping at. You can see the hairs will loosen themselves and pull themselves out of the hole in some instances. So I'm just going to do just a quick scrape. And then you reach inside and start pulling out. And this is the most tedious part. See, there's some string that was in the doll's head. But once this is actually done, we will go back to our next part. And again, like I said, this is the most tedious part. After you're done, your head will look just like this with no hair. You can now see the interior is pretty much cleaned out. There's a little bit of hair, but that's okay. And you're usually left with a substantial pile of just the hair you pulled out, which this is trash. I'm going to show you how to actually take the girl features away. So you're going to dip a Q-tip in acetone. And you're going to figure out what you want to go away. Um, in this case, I'm going to want to remove the coloring under the hair, which as you can see comes off relatively simple. Okay. So you get you some and then I run it around the edge so it's not dripping. And we want to remove the lipstick and we want to remove this blushing that you're seeing here. So you're just going to run it over all that blushing to clean it off. And I'm going to do half the face on camera so you guys can actually see the difference. And then just the lips, try to avoid hitting the teeth because we don't want to actually have to do any repainting. You can actually leave, let me see if I can get it to sh show up. You can actually leave a tiny line inside to act as a shadowing. So as you can see on this side, you still have the little girl face and on this side we're looking much more like a little boy. There you are. So I'm going to come back once that's all cleaned. I'm going to come back once this is all cleaned and we will actually show you the next process in starting the flocking. Now, I recommend that you put the head back on the body because they are quite difficult to push in there properly and if you do it once it's done you might actually pull some of the hair off or something like that. But this is the face removed of all the excess paint that would basically show it's being a girl and here's the top of the head. In this step you're going to take your mod, mod podge and this is the way I do it. I just take the cap, put that on that, and then I just squeeze a bit out. You don't really need that much. And now I take my doll head and I work in sections and you're going to take your q-tip and dip it into the glue. I spin it a little to keep it not so thick. Okay, now that we have the doll head, we're going to work on the hairline. I want his hairline to be a little bit like this. You want to make sure that you get it on all the little holes. Because if not, that won't be covered. Now you can work in much smaller sections than I'm working. I have just done this quite a bit. Again, you don't want it really thick, but you don't want to do a, a point that it's not going to, uh, that it's going to dry before you do it either. So I'm going to do this half. It's not even half, but this side section of the head. So you can go ahead and set that down. Now you take your head and you pick up some of this blocking that you've already cut and you just sprinkle on top. And you want to cover everywhere that you've applied glue and then you want to take a little patting action with your finger and just pat that down into the glue. 
You're going to do this all around where the glue is. You don't want to see any of the white of that glue. And let's go ahead. Oh, I'm getting it away. And as you can see, we have some longer pieces, but, but I didn't cut as well. Now, once you're secure that you've covered up all the glue spots, you just want to take your finger, like I'm saying, and pat. Don't rub because it'll come off because it's still wet right now. And then you'll be able to go back in and look for thin spots, which you could do another layer over top of this, so it's not a big deal. Right now, we're just putting this on. And you can brush the little bit off, but for now, it's okay to have a bunch all over the place. And now, if you don't feel confident enough doing this with the body exposed, you can put plastic wrap over the body while you do this part. I'm going to give you a better view here. Once we've done that, we're going to go in with a clean Q-tip. Some extra glue, this way we don't have the hair sticking. And we're going to keep moving on. onto the actual doll and get a little bit into where we got before just so that we make sure we don't have a bald spot which is basically we're doing this doll in um, thirds And then it's almost like a wet mop. You're just wet mopping this on. And you will get a little bit to come off on your, your uh, Q-tip. That's why we use a few of them. Now again, the same way, you're just going to take your flocking and apply it directly into the glue. And I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to come back once we have fully flocked the hair but have not cleaned up. So I'll be right back. Okay, now we won't be able to actually show you the finished one that we just did because it needs to dry for 24 hours before we can clean and dry, um, excuse me, clean and trim it up. I'm going to show you what it does look like while it's still wet. Again, there's hair all over. You have a few glue patches that I need to go in and fix. You're seeing a lot of that that you wouldn't normally see because of the bright studio light I have on it. Now. It looks a mess right now and it's like oh what's wrong with that but once that's dry you can add layers to build up volume if you want and I'm going to show you actually what happens when it is completely dried okay this is completely dried flocked hair it's very adorable it's very it looks really good on him and if you have any of these stray hairs like here, you can just take scissors and trim that up. Oh, oh, yeah, the studio light was getting in the way. And then once you've gave it a few, a day, maybe even two to sit, you want to go with a stiff brush and just brush every bit. The eyes, the hair, just every bit. And what that's going to do is just clean out all these little stray hairs that do fall out of the hair right after we've done them and let me see here if we can get you a good comparison these were the same dolls before on the left is the female con counterpart on the right is the redone and flopped version that we've turned into a little brother so if you have any questions about hair flocking or any other questions about this tutorial you can leave your comments and questions below don't forget to subscribe we're always doing some crazy new projects, videos, reviews, unboxings. So until next time, guys, I will see you later.